timing of the stimuli. We haven't discussed this at all yet. And what I've done is I have just put in some numbers where I know that it's going to roughly equate to one second or half a second. But we want to control the timing of the stimuli because that way we can then change it later on or we can set it or we can get an idea of what capabilities our visual system or our uh, display system can achieve. So how do we think about it? Well, if you remember, or if you go to the movies, before the digital age, how they used to play the movies was, they used to have a film strip, and on that film strip was a single images, or frames, one after the other. And what they used to do was they used to run those frames in front of a very bright light globe, and it used to play that frame, and then the next frame would come up would play the next frame on uh, one after the other on this very long film strip. And so what you'd get is how fast that frame, or how fast the frames would go past the light globe and appear on the screen per second. It's called frames per second. For human vision, we don't see any flickering or you know, stationary uh, movement strobe effect if it's greater than I think about 24 frames per second we've got flicker fusion at about 24 frames per second greater than 24 it looks like a movie and not just individual pictures running past the light globe so if we think about our visual stimuli in terms of the frames then we can control pretty much all aspects of our visual stimuli because we're going to make a little video, essentially. <clears throat> and we can change the stimulus, we can change the stimulus parameters on each frame. And this is the frame here. So we're going to do something over 15 frames. We're going to do something over the next 30 frames. The total stimuli is going to be 15 plus 30 frames. And so, we need to now think about, well, how fast can our vision, can our computer monitor here, how fast can it play a stimulus? Normally, we can get images on a standard LCD screen at about 60 frames per second. That's, a, that's about a standard screen refresh rate how quickly it refreshes the update. In some of our monitors here in the lab, we've got 85 times per second, 85 hertz or 140 hertz. So that means it can present a stimulus 140 times a second. For this monitor here, it's only about 60 frames per second. So we can put that up here in our stimulus parameters or in our program parameters. We can now say the frame rate is 60 Hertz. We're just going to hard code it in this video. In the next couple of videos, we're going to actually use a routine from PsychoPy that will actually calculate that for us. We're just going to use uh, a hard coded number here. And so that means that the time between each frame being presented, the time, so the inter flip interval because remember, we call the presentations to the screen a flip. Remember down here, my win dot flip. The time taken between each flip is going to be 1 divided by 60. Because remember, we're saying it's 60 hertz. So this is the time between each flip. So that means that if we have something that's 60 frames long, we are then going to present 60 frames in a second. Each frame is going to take 1 divided by 60 milliseconds. So we'll say print. Each frame will take and plus I over I. And 
what we're going to do is we'll comment out the rest of the code just so we can see what's going on, just so we can get a handle of how quick this is. Each frame will take 0 0.0166666 seconds, which is 16.6 milliseconds. So now, if I go to a calculator, which I don't know where it's gone. There it is. So 1 divided by 0 0.01667 equals 59.998 hertz which is pretty close to 60 hertz. So now I can calculate, so in 60 frames per second, it's going to have, so for every 60 frames, it's going to take one second roughly. So I can use that information now because I know, or if we're a bit smart, we can go to that Yulmutz paper, and we know that Yulmutz wanted 250 milliseconds, so one quarter of a second is going to be spent expanding. So the number of frames, the number of frames expanding equals the expand time in seconds multiplied by the frame rate. What is the frame rate? Well, that was the 60 frames per second. And we know that each frame, each frame will take one divided by 60. So here we're doing some stimulus or display parameters. There we go, one divided by frame rate give us the interflip interval. So this, so 250 divided by 1000 is 0 0.25 or a quarter. And then the number of frames it will expand for is a quarter of the frame rate. In each second, we get 60. So it's going to be a quarter of 60 and that is 15 frames. What is the hold time? So the number of a uh, hold time is also 250 milliseconds. So the number of frames that we want to play to the screen and we don't want it to change the size is number of frames hold equals the hold time in seconds multiplied by the frame rate. So this is number of frames at same stimulus size. Okay. Now we've got the third part, so we want it to expand for 15 frames, we want it to hold for 15 frames, 250 milliseconds, and then what we want to do is we want it to turn off for the remainder of the time. But we want the whole time to be 60 frames or one second's worth of video or frames. So pause, so num, oops, number of frames pause equals frame rate so that's 60 minus number of frames expand plus number of frames hold so if we have a quarter of a second or a quarter of 60 because this is 60 frames per second number of frames per second 60, a quarter of 60 is 15, so that will be 15. A quarter of 60 is 15, so 15 plus 15 is 30. And then 60 minus 30 is 30, which means half of the time is going to spend playing nothing. Half of the time it's going to be playing something. But if the first quarter of that time is going to be expanding, the next quarter it's going to be holding, and then the next it's going to be playing nothing. 
So here, this is the number of frames. So the first bit that it's going to do is it's going to do the expanding. And now we know how many frames we want to do. So number of frames expand. We want the circle stimulus. We'll just start it off starting small, okay? And then the next bit, so once it's done those 15 frames or quarter of a second of expanding, we want it to then hold at that size for another quarter of a second or 15 frames, a quarter of the, the refresh rate. So number of frames, hold, circle stimulus. We'll just make this uh, say um, 200, just so we can get a quarter of a second there, quarter of a second there, and then a quarter of a second off. So the third bit of this loop, we've gone from small, we've expanded over a quarter of a second, we're now holding it for another quarter of a second, and then we want it to turn off for the remainder of the time. In this case, 30 frames for 500 milliseconds. So this would be the number of frames. Uh, pause. Now, in the pause, we don't want to present any uh, stimulus radius. So circ stim.radius equals zero. So that, we need to draw that to the window. circ stim.draw. And then we have to take that from the memory onto the window. So my win.flip. And here we go. We start with the very first stimulus that we present. We print to the screen here that we're presenting the first stimulus. And then what we do is we start making the video. And the first of the first 15 frames, we're going to present a radius of 10. Okay. Once we've done those 15 frames or a quarter of a second, we are then going to run into the, the next phase. So it's expanded up. We're now going to hold for a quarter of a second for 15 frames. And then we're going to turn off. So once it's done that, we're then going to turn off. We're going to set the radius to zero for the remainder of the time. So here, if we do this correctly, quarter of a second at 10 pixels radius, quarter of a second at 200 pixels radius, and then half a second off. And we'll do this, uh, we'll do this 15 times, say. So I did something wrong. Number of frames expand is not defined. Right, so where did I go wrong? I think I've got a capital F there. I need it to be a small f. Nothing. Float object cannot be interpreted as an integer. So number of frames expand. So number of frames expand. Okay, so I'll convert that into an integer. These numbers that we calculated up here, this is a decimal, isn't it? And so the number of frames is going to be a float. So actually we can convert this into an integer. Here, because this is going to be a decimal 0.25 so this would be an integer take it to a whole number and so that'd be integer like that we don't need to convert this one now we should be good Small big off, small big off, small big off. So this is playing the stimuli once a second, but the stimuli is split into two halves, a small half or a quarter, and a second half, quarter. Okay, so those two quarters add up to a half. And then after that, it then presents nothing. So we are thinking presenting our stimuli in terms of the numbers of frames that it will appear for. We know, well, we've set here, just arbitrarily, it can present, the monitor can present 60 frames in one second. And so if we present something for 30 frames, that's going to be half a second. 
15 frames is going to be a quarter of a second, etc. But we can actually write PsychoPy can actually has a routine where we can actually probe that and get the actual number out. And we'll do that in the next couple of videos. We also know that we can calculate the time it takes for each frame to be presented and we're going to and we'll call that the interflip interval. And that is 16.6 .6 milliseconds if the frame rate is 60. And then here is our, our loops. This is the expanding. This is the um, holding time. And then this is the time it spends off. And we can control now by putting up here hold time, expand time, off time. We can control the duration of each of these three things independently of each other now. And that's why I've written it this way. We like to have control over our stimuli. All right, I'll stop it there. The next video, we're going to learn how to actually expand to make the size of the radius increase for each frame, because we have access to each frame in that expanding uh, portion of the loop. This is the beauty of writing it like this. And then we can set the radius for each frame. We'll do that in the next video.